Hi guys, Phoenix here. In this video, I'll be showing you the best way to install or update uh, your NVIDIA graphics card driver. Um, w when there is an update, the best way to do this is to use Display Driver Uninstaller to properly uninstall the, the previous uh, driver and get, get rid of all the r file and registry remnants that it leaves uh, behind. So I've downloaded Display Driver Uninstaller. Want to right click on it, hit Run as Admin. It's going to ask you to extract it, so I'll just give it any name. Let's say K here on this folder. Okay. Now, what you want to do is right click on it and run as admin. Okay. Now, before you do anything, uh, I recommend you go to options and then look at the options available here. Remove present and non present monitors. I don't want to do that. I don't want to save a log file, I don't want to create a system restore point. Um, you don't want to remove the Vulkan runtime, uh, the Vulkan runtime uh, uh, libraries because if you have a, uh, a second card on your system, like an integrated Intel graphics card, you'll notice that it installs its own Vulkan uh, runtime libraries here. So, you know, it's best not to remove them to, to ensure your other card, when needed, works properly. So we're going to uncheck that, and obviously we don't want this show offers from our partners. Remove NVIDIA driver, yep, and then remove AMD drivers folder, and that's it. Now what you want to do is not run it in Windows, we want to go back to safe mode, so we're going to do run. Type MS config, hit OK, and then go to the boot tab and choose safe mode, safe boot, hit OK, and restart when it asks you to. Right, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so now that we're back in safe mode, let's go back to that folder we extracted. And then we're going to run display driver uninstaller, choose run as admin. Now all you need to do here is ensure the NVIDIA uh, card is selected. Obviously if you, if you want to do this for the Intel or any AMD, AMD drivers you can. Just hit clean and restart. And as you can see it's going to do the cleanup, remove all the registry, uh, registry and file entries. Right, so we're back in uh, Windows now. Now, instead of just double clicking on the setup file which you downloaded, I recommend you, if you have 7-zip or WinRAR installed, you can just right click and choose extract to and give it the folder name. And the reason I do that is because if you just run the setup, it's gonna still extract itself into the root of your C drive under a folder called NVIDIA. And then those temporary files are never deleted once you install the driver. So I like to have it always extracted so that I can easily install it every time without having to re-extract it again. You can delete that original file now. Okay, now we're gonna run the setup, run as admin again. Right now, just accept the agreement. Now hit custom here, and if you don't have a 3D screen on your uh, on your computer, there is no point in installing the 3D Vision driver. So uncheck that, and I also un uncheck the NVIDIA GeForce Experience because you, the one bundled with the driver is usually an outdated one. So I, I have the latest one downloaded, and then we're gonna click this perform a clean installation again, then hit next and just wait for the driver to be installed. All right, once the driver is installed, just hit close. And then let's right click on the desktop and choose NVIDIA control panel. First thing you wanna do is go to help and then uncheck this allow experience improvement program. Then go to manage 3D settings. Now by default, the uh, the power management of the NVIDIA card is set to optimal, which is supposed to not 
to set the GPU uh, speed at zero megahertz if there is no draw on the screen and ramp it up once there is any uh, you know action going on. But that often causes performance issues. So what you want to do is keep it on either adaptive or prefer maximum performance. And then hit apply. Now, let's go ahead and install the latest NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And meanwhile, we'll, we'll, uh, you want to download the utility called Auto Runs. This will allow you to manage your startup entries and delete what you don't want, which I'll show you in a second. Right when 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 GeForce Experience launches, just log in using your NVIDIA account and hit continue. It's gonna quickly scan for any uh, installed games. Now, while it's uh, detecting the settings of the currently installed games and whatnot, you can just go to the settings, and this is all personal. But I don't like this in-game overlay, so I turn this off and I don't want to be notified of any driver updates or rewards. Next, battery boost. You want to raise this to 60 frames per second when on battery and then turn this shit off unless you really need the extra battery uh, if you're play gaming on battery. And everything looks good here. Let's go back to home. And as you can see, the games are already uh, detected and optimized because they have a green check, check box next to, or check mark next to them. So GeForce Experience is done. Final step we have to do is go to Auto Runs and run Auto Runs 64 as admin. Now in the filter, you want to type Nvidia. Okay. Now the, the important thing is you want to delete these telemetry. Uh, entries here, right click and delete each one. And there's one more down here. Okay. And that's it. That's it guys. That's the, uh, the best way to install an uh, NVIDIA driver. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.